Hi friends, I have a science story for you today. I got really excited. I saw this book and was like, ooh, this is perfect for my manta rays. It's called, Do Not Lick This Book. It reminded me a little bit of a mixture between the book with no pictures and shh, we have a plan. <laughs> Two of our favorite stories from our book tournament. And the reason you're not supposed to lick the book is because down here it says, it's full of germs is what the pink germ is saying. So it's written by Adam Ben Barak and Julian Frost. And it says, do not lick this book. Why would I lick a book? How strange, why would they say that? That's crazy. Do not lick this book. This is Min. Min is a microbe. She's small, very small. Can you see this dot? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 of them could fit on this tiny dot. Three million, what? In the air, in, the, in your intestines, in your sock, microbes live everywhere. They live on trumpets at the bottom of the sea in Antarctica with the penguins, <laughs> on elephants' knees, underground, on top of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. They even live inside this fish in your breakfast and up Santa's nose. Just over there. They're right here, 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 everywhere. Microbes are everywhere. Min, the microbe, lives in this book. And if you could look really, really closely, zoom, 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 you'd see her. I'm bored. This is a photo of paper, really, really close up, like under a microscope. This is what paper would look like. Let's take Min on an adventure. See the circle on the next page? That's where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. Shoop. Oh, I got her on my finger, you guys. Okay, what do I do next? Min is now on your finger. Away we go. Oh, I can see the ridges like on my finger when I look really closely at it. Where shall we take Min first? Take me to your teeth. Oh my. Okay, let's go. Open your mouth and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. Oh my, oh my. Now let's look really, really closely. This is a photo of a tooth. Really, really close up. Whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min, what are you guys up to? I'm Ray, we're digging cavities, wanna help? Can I get some acid over here? There's shovels and they're walking around together. Yuck, can you smell toothpaste? Hey kid, brush your teeth less and eat more candy. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush them. It's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth to pick Min up. All right, I'm gonna touch my teeth, friends. Okay, I got her. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like you've picked up Ray as well. Oh no, <laughs> I got one of the bugs from one of my teeth. One of the, I'm sorry, one of the microbes from one of my teeth too, huh? Where shall we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? A shirt? All right, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Now remember, you can do this at home too. You can pretend to pick her off the paper and then put her on her teeth. And now we took her off our teeth and we're putting her on our shirt. Now here it's a green shirt. Now let's look really, really closely at that green shirt. This is a photo of fabric. Really, really close up. I'm Min, and this is Ray. We're on an adventure. Adventure! Nice to meet you. My name's Dennis. 
We're making this shirt smell. Gross! I found a clean patch. Dennis, there's some lovely filth down here. Can you give me a hand spreading this dirt around? What's a hand? I hope we don't get to put in, put in the wash for a few more days. What a strange place shirts are when you look really, really closely. No wonder they need washing. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. All right, I'm gonna get Min. Shoop. Dennis has come along for the ride too. We have time for one more trip. Where shall we go? Shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly button? Okay, off we go. Oh my, put your finger on your belly button and wiggle it about. Now let's look really, really closely. Ooh, this is a photo of skin. Really, really close up. Hello, we're Min, Ray, and Dennis. I'm Jake. Welcome. We don't get many visitors. This shirt is weird. I'm Ray. <laughs> These two aren't very good at having conversation, are they? Ah, I do enjoy a nice drink of sweat on a hot day. Ooh. <laughs> Help yourselves to a delicious chunk of dead skin. Yum, yum, yum. Did I tell you about the time soap got all the way in here? I don't like scary stories. So do the microbes like soap and cleaning? <laughs> No, right? With your teeth, they didn't like the toothpaste. And with the shirt, they didn't like to go in the laundry and get all soaped and washed. And here, they don't like the soap getting into the belly button. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. Put your finger back in your belly button to pick up Min and her friends. Oh, here we go. Make sure you go pick them up in your belly button. All right, I'm going in mine. Got him. <laughs> that was fun. Now I'd like to go back to my book, please. Can we come? What's a book? <laughs> Let's put Min and her friends back in this book. Here's a good spot. There's plenty of room for everyone. Boosh. Guys can put him back too. <laughs> oh, the pink guy, he's sleepy. Where will we take Min tomorrow? So you're back in the paper of the book. Oh, he's reading a miniature version of the book. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. So on this side, it says what microbes really look like. Microbes are so small that nobody knew they even existed until microscopes were invented. They come in all sorts of odd shapes but they don't have faces, feet, or hands, and they can't really talk. Sorry, Min. So the Min in the story is the shape of what E. coli looks like when you look at it under a microscope. E. coli looks like this. That's me? What do you mean I don't have eyes or a mouth? <laughs> e. coli live happily in your intestines, but they're very good at spreading, especially when you don't wash your hands too well. So E. coli is, um, not good when there's so much of it, right? So some of these microbes, they're not good or bad. And sometimes they are good and sometimes they are bad. So E. coli is one that's really good to have in your intestines in a small amount because it helps break down your food. But if you have too much of it and it spreads to other parts of your body, then it's not good. So a lot of microbes are all around us all the time on everything we touch and see, but most of them aren't bad. They're just there, they're just germs. And Ray is a streptococcus, caucus, a streptococcus. I'm all bumpy. It does look like, like a, almost a bumpy yarn ball or something. Streptococcus bacteria live in lots of places, including your mouth, eating sugar, and popping acid that can dissolve your teeth. Ooh, ooh. so that's why whenever we... We always brush our teeth in the morning and especially at night before we go to bed and even maybe during the day because every time you eat, some of the sugar and the acid gets on your teeth and it starts breaking down your teeth and it might give you cavities and things like that. So it's, that's a bad one. We want to make sure we don't have too much of in our mouth. 
Dennis is a fungus. Nice hairstyle. <laughs> He's all poking out, huh? His real name is Aspergillus Niger. You probably picked him up while playing outside. So a fungus. So there's lots of different kinds of fungus. This is just an example of a fung type of fungus. Um, and some funguses, sometimes people, um, you can smell them. A lot of times fungus smells bad. So some people get a fungus in, in between their toes. Sometimes when you don't clean them well enough or just because it likes to grow there. Um, and so that's another one you want to try to keep it away. Not too much. Usually it's always a balance. A lot of these things aren't too harmful. It's just you don't want too much of it. Jake is a corny bacteria. Bacterium. Corine bacterium. I wish I had legs in real life too. <laughs> he almost looks like a zucchini or a squash, huh? Cor corny bacteria live on lots of places, including your skin. They're big fans of dirt. Remember he was on the shirt, I think? And um, they just hang out in dirt. So that's pretty cool. Over here, we have what the people who made this book look like. So this is Aiden Ben Barak. He wrote most of the words, and he's usually found inside libraries. He sometimes thinks quite loud thoughts. <laughs> this is Julian Frost. Julian drew the pictures. He likes comics and toast. He once animated a video called D oh my, Dumb Ways to Die. That's, you know. And Linnea Rundgren. Rundgren. I want to make sure I get it right. Linnea Rundgren. Linnea took the microscope photos. Oh, cool. She uses complicated machines to look at very, very tiny things and extremely big things because there are patterns everywhere. Now, friends, I wanted to show you some other microbes. And I actually have um, a 3D stuffy version of them. And these ones you might be a little bit more familiar with in some ways. There we go. So one, this guy, this guy <laughs> is, you know, without the eyes, cause like we said, right? Microbes don't have eyes and legs like we do. Um, they're a different type of animal or a creature, I should say. Some people don't consider them animals. Um, so this is called a cavity. So once you get some, um, all those things, once these guys dig into your teeth and start dissolving it, then this guy might form. And this is called a cavity. And that's what he looks like. So you have a cavity. I'm going to leave him up there. This one, this guy is sometimes when your ear aches or you get an ear infection, this is the microbe that might be there in your ear causing that problem. So this is the shape of the, the microscopic microbe that's inside your ear when it hurts. This one is the shape of when you have a cough. So sometimes coughs can be caused by lots of things, but if you just have a cough, it might be this guy. And he's a microbe that's in your body wreaking a little bit of havoc, causing some problems and making your body not like it. And then this one we're very familiar with, this blue one right here. This guy is the common cold. So when you feel just down and sick and you might have a cough, you might have um, a runny nose, um, you might want to rub your nose, it might be itchy, your throat might hurt too. Um, sometimes that's all caused by having a common cold. And so that's a cold, um, not, not quite a flu. It's a little bit less than a flu. So this is the guy, if you have a cold, this is the shape and color of the tiny, tiny microscopic thing that's in your body. Um, and, and scientists use microscopes to zoom in on that and then they can tell what's wrong with you. And so right now we have, we're worried about one called the coronavirus or, um, and we call it COVID-19 because it's um, the one it was discovered in 2019. Um, and so for the coronavirus, I don't have one of those to show you, but remember they call it Corona because Corona means crown. And it kind of looks a little bit like this guy where it sticks out all over. But I'm, I'm actually going to get one of these um, that looks like the coronavirus to show you soon too. Um, and we can see what he looks like. If When you have it, they'll zoom in on your cells and they'll look for the picture 
of the microbe and then they can tell what is causing problems in you and then we can help to uh, fix it. So it's pretty cool that with science and with these microscopes, we're able to diagnose people and see what's inside them. Um, and it's cool to also remember that they're all around us all the time and that to remember that there's good and there's bad ones. And it's all about balance and not having too many of the bad ones. So I hope you enjoyed that story today, friends, um, about Min the microbe. And always make sure you're only licking the things that you should be licking, like food. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks, friends.